orchestra platform is built on a rotating axle. Behind the stage is a gang of burly stagehands. As soon as the curtain is up, they use all their weight to push down on a steel rod that is welded to the back of the stage. This rotates the entire platform one quarter turn. The members of the quartet are now resting on their backs. When the curtain lowers, you're looking at a duplicate set of chairs. Here's the move again from above. Watch your backs, fellas. The stairs and the black cloth on the front of the stage conceal the duplicate set of chairs beneath the platform. Here's the switch again from the front, without the drape hiding the magic. Those stagehands are really earning their paychecks tonight. When the curtain is raised a second time, the stagehands get another workout. The men push the musicians back in place, just in time for the curtain to lower and reveal them. And that's the secret of how to make a quartet disappear. Next, the magician exposes the highly guarded secret to walking through a world-famous Great Wall. Plus, a trick used by popular street magicians won't fool you anymore. Find out how it's done when magic's biggest secrets finally reveal return. Here's a trick that street magicians use to convince their audience they have freakish powers. A bent bottle cap and an empty bottle are all it takes. The magician taps the cap on the bottom of the bottle to prove it's solid, but watch. With the cap resting on his fingers, he continues to tap until it's inside the bottle. The metal cap has penetrated the glass without breaking it. Seems pretty freaky to me. Maybe he has magic powers after all. So, does the magician have special powers? Or is this just another one of his tricks? I think you know the answer. The first secret is in the ring he is wearing. It's magnetic and powerful enough to attract the metal cap. The second secret is the bottle cap or the fact that he has two bottle caps. When the illusion begins, one cap is inside the bottle, held in place by the magnetic ring. The outer cap is tossed up from his hand and caught by the ring, while the cap inside is released. It appears that it has passed through the glass, but we're really seeing the cap that was inside all along. He won't fool us again with this trick, because we know the secret. The magician will now attempt to make his body pass through a solid object. In this case, this giant wall made of two heavy-duty shipping containers. Sometimes magicians walk through brick walls, landmarks, or even the eighth great wonder of the world. But we're not in China. So in the warehouse, these 5,000-pound steel containers will be just as great. The goal will be to walk through the solid steel wall by magic. The magician climbs up onto a raised platform to get a better look at the containers. They're not made of mortar and stone like the wall in China, but steel is just as imposing. The magician sizes up his opponent and wraps on the side to prove that this is a solid wall of steel. Getting through is going to pose quite a challenge. He climbs back down, allowing his assistants to lower some shades that are attached to the metal frame on the platform. These white curtains will protect the secret of his trick from prying eyes. But don't worry. He's bound to show you the secret sooner or later. The shade in the back has a hole that will allow a beam of light to shine onto the shade in front. Although the magician doesn't want you to see everything yet, 
he will allow the audience to see his shadow behind the shade. There is an identical setup on the opposite side of the containers. You'll see that in just a minute. It's been said that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, creator of Sherlock Holmes, believed the great Houdini could dematerialize and pass through solid objects. Let's see if the magician can make believers out of us. Now that the assistants are done with their preparations, the magician prepares to take his place behind the shade. This is the last time we'll see him until he emerges on the other side, if he can. There we see a silhouette on the shade. He concentrates and then pushes his hand into the side of the solid steel containers. Now his other hand and his entire body. Is it possible that he's mastered Houdini's secret of dematerialization? It appears as though he's gone. But the doubters in our audience would probably like a little more proof. So, there you go. No shades, no magician. He's either vanished or traveling through the steel particle by particle. The challenge now will be to reassemble on the other side. The camera is following his path through the stacked containers. Remember, the containers were examined and no trap doors were found. On the other side, his assistants are placing a white fabric panel over a section of the metal. What's this? It appears as though the magician is poking his hands through the fabric, desperately trying to escape from the steel. Or is it Houdini? back from the grave. This is getting creepy. Better let him out of there. The panel is removed, but there's no sign of the magician. Even creepier. A shade is placed on the front of the platform, again to protect the secret of his rematerialization. Will he make it through the wall of steel? If he can't, somebody better have an industrial size can opener. Another sheet will complete the cube. As we can see, there are no shadows inside, no sign of the magician, yet. The assistants have finished their work and it's time for the magician to make his reappearance. Come on, mass man, Houdini did it, so can you. There he is. Slowly passing through the solid steel. I'm not sure about you, but I always knew he could do it. Then again, I've read the script. The shades are removed. And there's the magician back from his trip through a great wall of steel. What's the shocking secret behind walking through the great wall? If you were fooled by the trick, you won't believe your eyes when you find out how it's done. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed returns. We just saw the mass magician take on these giant shipping containers. He passed right through the solid steel container on one side, traveled through this great wall, and out the other side. Was his journey as dramatic as it looked? You know, there has to be an explanation. Here are the secrets. When the magician is showing us that the containers are real, he's not lying. They're genuine and solid steel. 
therefore he couldn't really pass through them as his shadow suggests. What you don't know is that a double is hidden beneath a trap door in the platform. As soon as the shade is in place, the double opens the trap and gets ready for his secret roll. We see the magician climb the stairs. The beam of light is focused to shine brightly on the shade, but allows a narrow place for the double to hide. When the magician steps into the fabric cube, he takes the double's place and the double steps forward. The switch is seamless and the shadow appears to be the magician's. Meanwhile, he's busy slipping through another trap door and down into the stairs he used to climb up onto the platform. While we're looking at the shadow, we don't even notice his escape into the staircase. Once he's inside, he's ready to be wheeled to his final destination on the other side of the wall. Whenever magical assistants are wheeling stairs around, you can be sure someone's hiding inside. On the front of the shade, we see the shadow of the double appear to melt through the steel wall. From above, you can see the double's choreography as he mimes melting into the wall and then simply curls up into a ball where he won't be hit by the light. But from the front, it appears he's passing right through the steel. Next, he climbs back into his secret hiding place so that the cube is empty when the shades are removed. The audience believes the magician has melted into the steel wall, but his double is just hiding in the platform. Meanwhile, the staircase, with the magician hidden inside, has arrived on the other side of the wall. While he's making his way from the staircase into the platform, his assistants are distracting us with their own sleight of hand. Remember the cloth panel they held against the steel containers? When you look closely, you can see that only one of each assistant's arms is visible. That's because their other arms are hidden behind the panel with their hands pushing on the fabric. The effect of the hands pushing on the fabric is so startling, the audience doesn't even stop to think it could be the assistant's hands and not the magician's. As soon as they get the signal that the magician is safely inside the platform, they remove the panel and attach the shades to the cube. When the shades are up, the magician climbs out of his hiding place and makes his way to a dark corner, carefully avoiding the beam of light. He holds up his arms and walks forward, creating the illusion that he is rematerializing, melting through this side of the steel containers. This is when some serious acting lessons would really pay off. Wall-to-wall -wall magic. And now you know the secrets. Next week, The Masked Magician returns to reveal more of magic's biggest secrets.